準備ができましたのでただいまからおまんこくチームによるプレゼン録を始めますおまんこくチームの皆さんお願いいたしますティームおまんプレイスタートグリーブニングエブリバディマイネームズューマンアブダルルブルーシーアイム16 years old from Sultanate of Oman I'm so glad to be here and to share my experience with you and to have your ideas and to share my ideas with you. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the challenges of sustainable society, which is the paper waste. Before starting my presentation, let me first introduce the location of my country. This little black star represents the location of my country. which is in the northeast of the Arabian Peninsula. The official language in my country is Arabic, but that doesn't mind that we could talk in other languages, such as Arabic and German. The, the population in my country is 3 million. And like you noticed here, this is the location of the capital city in Oman, which is Muscat. And the official, um, and, official yeah, and the religion in my country is Islam. Here we have the environmental challenges that my country uh, is suffering from. The first one is the global warming. From all around the world, we are suffering from the global warming. And also here we have the des uh, desertification and also deforestation, which are so related to each other. And uh, one of them caused the other one. Deforestation, like everybody knows, that uh, a lot of uh, means that many uh, green areas are becoming desert, which cause the desertification. Also, also we have the drought, uh, which cause the underground water salinity, and also at the end we have the pollution that my country is suffering from. Here we have um, um, as a solution uh, from uh, the global warm uh, as a solution from the problem that we are suffering from. Um, here we have the first step, which was recycling paper. Like any another project, we have an aims. So the first aim is in, to enhance a clean environment, because in my country, they uh, all the time um, uh, they get rid of the rubbish by burning them, and that causes a lot of problems in the environment. The next aim we have, reducing deforestation and desertification. Um, as everyone knows that uh, the, pa uh, the paper are made from trees. So instead of cutting down new trees to reduce paper, uh, why don't we recycle the paper that we don't need regarding to save the trees? Here we have the project has been implemented since 2007. So in my school, um, the project has been implemented since 2007. Here we have uh, the participants. Uh, there are many people who participate in the project. The first one is the Amal School for Girls, which is my school. And the next one is Amal Recycling Company from Muscat. And the last one is Burka Desalination Plant Company. Here we have the steps of the project. The first step to make Our project was that we conduct some activities about the project and then simply to raise the students' awareness about recycling papers. And here we have some of the, some of the photos uh, of uh, girls are making some uh, activities and then simply. The next step is gathering members and forming groups. It is uh, to encourage other students uh, to, uh, to participate in our project. And here we have the photo of some of the members in the project. The third step is visiting the desalination plant station in Barca for provision, for, uh, for provision for, uh, of paper containers to provide containers in my school to, uh, to put the paper that we don't need on them. The fourth step is disrupting leaflets and posters is also to raise the students' awareness. So uh, here we have some of the girls are doing some leaflets to stick them, um, to, to encourage other students uh, about uh, the project and to raise their awareness. The five, fifth step is having contract with recycling company to uh, provide for us uh, the 
containers and we're going to give the, for them the paper that we collect. The last step is informing the neighbor school to take part through uh, performing different activities and inviting them to attend. So it, is not, it was not just in my school. Uh, we take the idea to other schools um, to, uh, prov to inform them about our, um, uh, our um, project and to invite them to attend. So here we have the results that we have from the project. Those are the most popular uh, results. The first one is the last two months we collect about uh, three tons of paper waste for recycling. Can you just imagine? There's a lot. Uh, the next step is that this year more than two, 21 school, schools are participating in the project. So it's not just in my school. Like I said before, we take the idea to other schools. So this is the end of my presentation. Um, like everyone, as everyone knows that the, um, uh, the, paper waste pro the paper waste problem is a worldwide problem. Our solution is locally. Now, this is your turn to make it globally. And people always remember, if you haven't started recycling, start from today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Timo Man. 次はブラジル連邦共和国チームによる7のプレゼンテーションです。発表の準備があるチームの方は移動してください。それ以外の方は発表者の準備ができるまで着席したままでお待ちください。
準備ができましたのでただいまからブラジル連邦共和国チームによるプレゼン7を始めますブラジルチームの皆さんお願いいたしますティーンブラジルプレスタート Good morning everyone We are the Brazilian team and we are here to present about the preservation of urban forests My name is Maria My name is Bernardo My name is Rodrigo And my name is Nadia First, I would like to talk about the Bofilia, which is a state where man and environment are integrated at, in an emotional level. That's only possible when people have contact with the place, and that's important to preservation because it's impossible to fight for something you don't know that exists. Knowing that, we did a research in two urban forests with different kinds of management. Now it's time for me to talk about a little about Mutuca's forest.、Uh, Mutuca's forest takes place in Nova Lima, Minas Gerais, and it's near to Belo Horizonte, where we came from. The Mutuca's forest is held by mining companies, and so what? The entrance is forbidden.、Um, Tijuca forest is placed in Rio de Janeiro, and it's one of the biggest urban forests in Brazil. It occupies 3.5% of the city's urban area. So, basically, the main difference between these two forests is that Mutuca's forest is ill preserved and the Tijuca's forest is very well preserved. So, in what concerns Mutuca's? Yeah. Uh, as consequence of the mining company's measurement, the mining company's measurement, the people who live in the adjacent areas don't even know this forest exists. What's a complete absurd?、Um, on the other hand, Tijuca's National Park is open for the public, so people can visit it and stay in touch with nature. And it makes it easier to preserve the forest. Preserve the forest. It also is managed by government and some NGOs, what makes it even easier to be preserved. But how are topophilia and preservation related to democracy? Well, democracy is a political regime in which every citizen is equal to the eyes of the state. They all have. The same rights. But unfortunately, most democracies do not work like that nowadays. How can you fight for the environment if you have to fight for your rights, if they're not guaranteed by your state? How can you concern yourself with environmental issues if you are haunted by extreme poverty, by hunger, by prejudice? Well, how does all of this relate to ESD? Sustainability is based on three main pillars. The social pillar, which is related to the reduction of extreme inequality and guaranteeing rights to the citizens. The economic pillar, which is considering economic growth. And the environmental pillar, which is preserving nature in its original state. That's why in our school and our country, Believes that students should be on the spotlight, should be the protagonists. And how does this relate to ASP.NET idea?、Um, well, when the students become protagonists, and also when they get in touch with the environment, they can get to know it, and they know what are they struggling for.、Um, they are struggling to preserve nature. So, if they are the protagonists, they will preserve it better. That's why our school and our community、um, uh, support the ESD. We have also a sustainability club in our schools, and we also do some social programs、um, in our school.、And、so, to end our presentation, we as Brazilians want to share with you guys one thought. You can't fight for something you don't know. So.
Let's show them what you can fight for. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you very much, Team Brazil. 次はギリシャ共和国チームによる8のプレゼンテーションです。発表の準備があるチームの方は移動してください。それ以外の方は発表者の準備ができるまで着席したままでお待ちください。
準備ができましたのでただいまからギリシャ共和国チームによるプレゼン8を始めますギリシャチームの皆さんお願いいたします Team Greece, please start Good morning fellow participants On behalf of the Greek delegation I'd like to thank the Japanese organizers and UNESCO for giving us the opportunity to voice our concerns for our future It is a privilege to be in such a great country for such a great cause. The following presentation refers to the sustainability projects of the Greek schools involved, their initial targets and their conclusions. Insectives. Firstly, the fact that we participate in the UNESCO Associated School Project Network, ASPNet, orientated our school towards education for sustainable development. Secondly, another motivation is our participation in the Greek Sustainable School Award, which is organized in our country. The above made us develop and implement ASESD method for a sustainable future. Aims. Our participation in the ASPNet scheme aims at orientating towards sustainable development, demonstrating good practices, developing critical thinking about the current situation of our planet, increasing students' sense of responsibility, cooperating and solving social problems, developing various skills such as social and civic competencies, the sense of initiative and the entrepreneurial spirit. We selected several projects with a view to explore the concept of sustainability and its practical dimension in everyday school life. Sustainable practices. The following slides showcase some of the sustainable techniques implemented by students in our schools. We start with the good technique. Uh, the students learn to use natural and local construction materials such as rocks, sand, straw, soil, and water. As you can see uh, in the final result, As you can see in the final result, uh, we use the above technique to construct a bench in the schoolyard. COB is a green method that comes to us from the depths of time and has been used in every continent at every age. Hydrobot. Hydrobot is a diving underwater vehicle that is remotely operated. The following project was realized in collaboration with MIT. It can be used to provide water samples for chemical analysis and test the water pollution of our seeds in order to raise students' environmental awareness. It also measures temperature, pressure, and brightness. If equi equipped with a web camera, it can also record videos. Hippocrates Garden. The objective here was to improve our schoolyard in an eco-friendly, useful manner. Our inspiration came from the teaching of ancient Greek physician Hippocrates on the healing power of nature. We planted the garden uh, with medicinal as well as decorative plants. The focal point of this effort was our homemade composter that provided sustainable fertilized soil. We feel that this particular project with its element of living heritage has a strong dimension of cultural sustainability as well as environmental. Upcycling. Our commitment not to waste resources led us to the project of upcycling used cooking oil into biodiesel. The process had great educational value too, as step by step we performed a chemistry experiment in the lab. Recycling. We have turned our school into a significant location for sustainability profile of our town. We collect recyclable materials such as batteries, electrics, uh, light bulbs, paper, etc. In collaboration with the, with the local communities, we organize the transportation of the materials to the recycling centers. Water and energy. We have come to understand that clean energy is of a paramount importance for sustainability. Water and energy have been linked together since the very first water wave. One of our projects was to create a block for water and energy, uh, aiming to provide information and promote renewable types of energy. 
various activities in order to raise awareness on the issues of sustainability, we hosted events on the subject, contributed articles to local newspapers, gave presentations to schools and local communities, etc. Several nominations and awards along the way have encouraged us to continue our efforts. Conclusions. Our involvement in the ASP.NET scheme had some immediate result for us, the participants. We first realized that it's through education that we can have radical change towards ESD. It is obvious to us and to our teachers that we have developed various skills. Being proactive, showing initiative, and understanding the entrepreneurial spirit are also badges we earn and will stay with us for the future. Moreover, it is very important to us that we feel happier at school and more motivated. We also emerge, uh, sorry, we also emerge from this experience more aware about the issues of our planet and our lives on it. And with awareness comes responsibility, and responsibility leads to action. Thank you for your attention. I got it, Asaima. And indeed, Efaristo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tim Gorris. 次はベトナム社会主義共和国チームによる Q のプレゼンテーションです。発表の準備があるチームの方は移動してください。それ以外の方は発表者の準備ができるまで着席したままでお待ちください。
準備ができましたのでただいまからベトナム社会主義共和国チームによるプレゼン Q を始めますベトナムチームの皆さんお願いいたします t e a m Vietnam Please Start おはようございます Xin chào Hello Ladies and gentlemen Brothers and sisters I'm going to introduce my team Hi, I'm Huyen, Carl and Miss Kung Fu Our presentation will last for seven minutes about cultural diversity of Vietnam. It contains three parts, over, overviews, overviews, diversity, and the unity of Vietnamese culture. Um, Vietnam basic specialty will be presented by Hai Anh. Oh, hi, uh, hi, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be, uh, begin my presentation. Uh, well, you know, Vietnam has gone through ups and downs uh, for a very long history and development, and we are so proud of, um, of our country. Uh, my country culture is very unique and diverse, um, and I'm sure you guys will be surprised because there are 54 ethnic groups in our country, and so there's many languages are spoken in our country. Uh, like the kimono custom in Japan, uh, we have Aozai as a traditional dress. Um, you guys uh, should look at this lotus. Uh, in Vietnam, the lotus is very popular. Uh, at schools, we learn uh, so many folk songs and poems about them. Um, uh, in Vietnamese culture festival, we play many traditional games together, like uh, clay carving. A human chess or dragon dancing. Um, our country has many beautiful landscapes. It's such a great honor that uh, Chang An has recently been recognized as one of the nature world heritage. And uh, I've been there once, and I think you guys will be impressed by uh, the amazing place. Um, I'm really glad and proud of our country beauty. Uh, so. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, as you guys can see on the presentation, uh, Vietnamese values are based on four basic tenets, family-oriented, passionate for a good reputation, love of learning, and respect for other people. These, uh, these elements are all together make a symbol of Vietnamese culture. Uh, Vietnamese culture has been seen from different perspectives. Uh, such as religions, beliefs, languages, custom, cuisine, so on. Uh, there was just something about Vietnamese culture, and you guys will find out more, more things in the next part, presented by one of our teammates, who is going to show us how diverse our city, our country are. Okay, the diversity of our country includes spatial and time diversity. Let's start with the first one. And you can see uh, Vietnamese is divided into six different cultural regions uh, with their own food, festival, clothes, uh, and, uh, and so on. For example, Hanoi is famous for, for beef noodle food and uh, Bắc Ninh folk song. Secondly, let's talk about time diversity. Time diversity are divided into six different cultural regions. And, uh, um, Mm, different cultural reasons and uh, every culture, every period has its own unique figure. Vietnamese uh, visiting Hanoi, where I live, there are still some ancient buildings and old quarter. Uh, visiting Ho Chi Minh City, there are more modern buildings and, uh, and special and diversity uh, has great various diversity of culture. Let's move on to uh, the third part by Kai. Vietnamese culture displays great diversity, but it still uh, remains unity in many aspects, such as time and spatial diversity. For instance, although each of our region has its own dialect and language, the official language in Vietnam is Vietnamese. As my teammate Huyen has mentioned earlier, every region has their own characteristics, and festivals, there are still some national celebrations that we all celebrate, such as the Lunar New Year, start in the February, in this holiday. 
or thou's give children lucky money to wish them a happy new year. Uh, we also celebrate our Independence Day held in the second day of September when our first president, Ho Chi Minh, read our first independent declaration. Um, these are many, uh, here are some of many other activities that we have in our school. Uh, uh, in my experience, two years ago, I had a chance to visit a local school uh, in a very small village. Um, the facility in here were very poor, no, no lights, no transportation, and no proper bathroom. Surprisingly, the student in here was very motivated to learn, and they can communicate both English and Vietnamese. Uh, this made me really, uh, this made me really uh, fortunate to, this made me, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm too nervous. <laughs> this made me realize that I'm really fortunate to benefit from the city education, to, to have the chance to be in here. Um, therefore, I need to strive harder. We need to strive harder. A tree can't stand without its roots. A tree can't stand without its roots. What's that this saying means? Does anyone get the message? The course itself says that um, no matter how accomplished and successful person you are, you mean nothing without your culture. Um, it is uh, not just you or me. It's on our responsibility to preserve our culture, and that is what Vietnam uh, uh, want to send to the world. In the end, uh, I hope that our work could partially contribute to the success of the event. We look forward to learning from all of you guys. On behalf of Vietnam, I would like to show my appreciation to the Japanese government and many other friends in the world for making this conference possible. Uh, thanks for your attention. Thank you very much, Team Vietnam. 最後は日本京都チームによる銃のプレゼンテーションです。発表の準備がある
では準備ができましたのでただいまから日本京都チームによるプレゼン10を始めます京都チームの皆さんお願いいたしますチーム京都プレースタート。もったいない。いいないもったいない京都の伝統的な考え方にはもったいないというものがありますもったいないとは無駄にすることに抵抗がありものを大切にするという京都の人が持ち続けてきた精神です私たちはこのもったいないという精神が絶,絶可能な社会を実現するための重要なキーワードだと思います私たちが住んでいる京都市では一体どのようなもったいないを減らす活動があるのでしょうか BDF いきなり出てきましたがこれは何のことだと思いますかこれはバイオディーゼル燃料のことです。京都市ではこの BDF を使って市バスやゴミ収集車を動かしています。この燃料は家庭から排出された使用済みオイルを再利用しています。この燃料が集められない場合は固められて可燃ゴミとして捨てられるものです。それを再利用することにより無駄なゴミを削減することができます。こういったゴミを減らす活動の一環として祇園祭りでリユース食器を使用する活動が行われましたこのお祭りには毎年世界中から約80万人もの人が訪れますこの活動に私たちもボランティアとして参加してきましたこの活動が行われるまでは約35トンものゴミが排出されてきましたこの活動が行われたことにより可燃ゴミを半減することができましたこの活動で学んだことを生かして、私たちも来年のボラン文化祭でどう、このシステムを導入したいと思っています。私たちは、ゴミを生かす活動として、今年の文化祭で、小型家電の回収という活動を行いました。これは、不要になった小型家電を回収し、その中からレアメタルを取り出し、リサイクルする取り組みです。これを3日間実施した結果、31キロもの小型家電を回収することができました。私たちはこうした取り組みを通して、捨てればゴミ、集めれば資源になるということを全校生徒に広めています。その他にも、緑のカーテンの設置、外国人留学生に日本文化を紹介、温故知新というテーマで開催されたテレックス京都のボランティアあ運営ボランティアなどといった活動も行,い行ってきましたさらにどのように京都の文化が受け継がれてきたかを探しにフィールドワークにも行ってきましたその中で発見したことは京都の自社仏閣は伝統を守りながらも新しいことに挑戦しているとということです例えば上賀茂神社では外国人向けの結婚式が行われていたり境内の中でライブを開催したりと時代に合わせて変化させてきましたさらに21年に一度神社全体を修復するという伝統がありその際に伝統的な建築技術を受け継ぐことで千年前と同じ形、技術を今に残しています。こうした努力の結果、あこうした努力で京都の自社仏閣は美しいまま残されています。皆さんもぜひ京都を訪れたときは、その歴史を感じてみてください。ここまで身近なことについて紹介してきましたが、少し視野を広げて、
今世界で起きている問題について考えてみましょう例えば水不足食料不足紛争などが世界各地で起こっていますこうした問題を私たちは英語で学び議論し合う場として関西模擬国連大会 MUN を毎年開催していますこの活動は来年で25回目を迎えます MUN では毎年全国10校から約300人が参加し生徒が国の代表となり国連と同じ方法で国際問題について話し合い議決案を制作します今年のテーマは「フードセキュリティ」去年のテーマは「ウォーター・フォー・ライフ」でした京都外大西高校は MUN を通して国際に、うん、生徒生徒意識生徒の意識を高め文化をお互い武漢うんすみません文化をお互いに理解し、試合える国際人を育成しています。このようにして、私たちは、持続可能な社会を実現するための活動を行ってきました。その中で、プロジェクトを計画、実行する難しさというものを実感しました。こうした ESD を実現するためには、すべての国がお互いに理解し、協力することが大切になります。ここでこうして共有した僕たちの意見をどうか自国に持ち帰って広め、実践してください。そこにこの会議の意味があると思います。集めれば資源、捨てればゴミ、もったいないの精神が持続可能な社会を身近な面から実現させていくでしょう。Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Team Kyoto. 以上をもちまして、午前の部を終了いたします。ありがとうございました。<笑>ただいまから昼食の時間になりますが、その前に5つの大事な連絡があります。連絡1昼食は3回。